Hello, 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 and welcome back to episode number 19 of my FSX FS Economy career. Today's flight, we're going to be flying from Yola in Nigeria, Africa. And today, we're going to be carrying a multitude of passengers, some plane spotters, a photo editor, pilot, an aircraft painter, and we're going to be flying these to Jos, Nigeria. Now, I'm going to be taking a Cessna 208 and... The total value of the assignments is 9240 I've already rented an aircraft, cheap as chips, because it's costing me $200 an hour dry. Uh, normally they range between $500 and $750 an hour. I've got 152 gallons of fuel on board. Journey will take us 2 hours and 8 minutes as the crow flies. So I'll just get into my active sky and I'll show you the weather conditions in Jola and in Joss. I'll be back with you any second. Uh, as you can see, we're currently at Yola. Uh, conditions are sunny, warm, 26 degrees. Wind conditions is 7 knots at 50 degrees, which means that we'll be taking off on runway 35. There's no clouds reported, so it's a nice clear day. We'll go over to Joss, and we'll have a look at the weather conditions in Joss. So it's Delta, November, Juliet, Oscar. Weather conditions exactly the same. No clouds, it's clear below 20,000 feet. Very warm, 24 degrees. We'll just hold that two hours. Surface winds are 190 at five knots, which means we'll be landing on runway 28. So I'll just go into our little nav map. We'll go and have a look at the route we're going to take, and then we'll get on our way. Now, we're currently sat at stand three of the general aviation section at your airport. We'll be taxiing down the runway back up to runway 35 where we'll take off. We'll be cruising at an altitude of 8,000 feet. Current runway height at Yola is 599 feet. Once we're in the air we'll be vectored to our first waypoint which is Sandy which is 76 nautical miles away and we'll be traveling in a direction of 307 degrees. Once we reach Sandy we'll travel a further 58 miles to a waypoint called Iktam on a heading of 305 degrees. When we reach Iktam, we'll be turning left to a heading of 242 degrees and travelling 89 nautical miles in a southwesterly direction to a waypoint of Borna. Now, probably before that, we'll get vectors from ATC to fly further south and we'll come from the runway in this southerly direction and then turning west to runway 28 at Joss. The altitude of Joss it's up in the mountains and it's at an altitude of 4,232 feet. To help my navigation to Joss I'll probably vector this NDB at 270 and that should put me virtually online with the runway. What I'll do is I'll get into the simulator, I'll load the passengers up and we'll get on our way. I will speak to you again in a moment's time. Hello and welcome into the cockpit. Uh, we currently have our passengers loaded. I'm going to start playing up. Fuel pump is on. Some fuel into the plane. Put our starter motor on. the plane up, turn the fuel pump off, turn the starter motor off and the ignition off. Contact ATC and we'll request clearance. Set our altimeter to 8,000. Knowledge. Two point five. We're ready. Acknowledge taxi clearance. Using taxiway runway one seven. Sword one 
release the parking brake, press shift P to initiate the reversers. Shift and P to stop. Add a little power. Taxi down the runway, turn around at the bottom of the runway, and then we'll take off. Now I've just figured something out on my overlay what I use. You can look at the widget where it's got the departure on arrival airport, it's got the route that we take, but it's got the distance to go at 212 nautical miles. The distance we're actually trying is 251 nautical miles. It doesn't take into consideration the waypoints, it just goes as a direct flight. So I'm going to contact try and contact the uh, person who did the overlay. I know it's used by a lot of um, Twitch users. So I'm going to flag it up. Him. My first notch of flaps. My takeoff flaps. Just accidentally knocked cross lever. That D B or the Yoss Airport two seven zero. Your rolling start. Oh, 
full power. Sixty knots, seventy knots, V one, rotate. Oh, that's tough. They've decided to take off anyway. That's our left turn.
Oh, not too far away from the runway now. We're about 30 nautical miles away. Been given instructions to descend to 6,200, which is 2,000 above the runway altitude of 4,300. 4,200, sorry. Uh, we'll just start waiting now for ATC. That vectoring us down towards the runway. Been quite an uneventful flight, been nothing to see really. Winds have been calm. So hopefully we get down and have a nice smooth landing. A little bit too long before we start getting vectored in. The airport's just over to our right hand side. <sighs> Not too sure what the lighting's like on the runway. Hopefully, we've got some puppy lights to help us in. Get a lot easier. Nothing worse than trying to land a plane with no lighting, even in broad daylight. I should really do a pre-test of all these flights, what I'm doing on FS Economy, but I'm one of these, I just want to get in there, get it done. I don't know what these airports are like. I found in the last couple of flights that 
some of the runways not been lighted I've landed short I've missed the runway and crashed on one you can check those in my previous videos but it's a uh, case of it's all in let's go for it This is not a grass runway. One thing's I, one thing I don't like is grass runway. No, I'm two thousand feet above ground level. Take us about five minutes to get down. 4,200 feet. Don't we're 13 miles away. Nothing up on the horizon that I can see. Resembles a runway. sure but that looks like a runway there in this area here that could be it yeah I can just see the papi lights Acknowledge that instruction, yeah. And we do have the runway in sight. And we'll start fetching our speed back down now. Acknowledge the approach clearance. We'll put the first notch of flaps on. Take the autopilot out. That's our light descent. Nice and easy, 500 feet. Look at all the glide slopes, but fine. Looks like miles away. Uh, straightening up for the runway.
5,100 feet. Keep the nose up a little bit. They were above the glide slope. But it would bang on. It looks like a two light puppy. There's currently no wind in that being knocked about. I don't know what it is, I seem to have a bad habit of landing to the right hand side, I think it could be how my joystick and my TV are configured. Get off here. As long as we land on the runway that's fine. Every once in a while, because it's a new plane, I'm not used to flying a 208. I'm used to flying this 172, the Cessna Skyhawk. So I'm not too, not too confident in flying the 208, as it's a slightly bigger plane. It will come. Oh, welcome to Joss. I thought I was a lot closer to the ground than I was.
Right, so we reached our destination. Uh, what we'll do now is we refresh our page, which will give us the money what we've earned, uh, which, and we will go to our, our logs, have a look at slight breakdown. Right, the income was $9,240, as you can see there. Total cost of renting the aircraft for an hour and 44 minutes, I said it'd take about two hours, is $348.18. Ground fee and the booking fee is $924 each, which comes to a grand total of $2,522.12. Scale of us earnings of six thousand seven hundred and seventeen dollars and eighty seven what we're going to do is we'll go and put that six thousand seven hundred and seventeen in the bank deposit that we're total in the bank now is up to one hundred and forty seven thousand one hundred and fifty nine and forty eight which takes us that little bit closer to morning now we're on Cessna 172. What I've decided to do now I'm going to have a look at what Cessnas are up for sale. I still think I'm about thirty thousand short you can see now the cheapest Cessna is 166,000 and what I've decided to do once I've purchased an aircraft is that I'm just going to rent that aircraft out and I'm going to continue buying the 208 to make more money so back to the home page and with that I shall bid you goodbye don't forget if you've not already done so subscribe to the channel hit that bell notification for any further videos give me a thumbs up and a like it really does help me out bid you goodbye and happy fightings.